So here's the question of the day. Should you upgrade or purchase the Samsung S24 Ultra today? Is the S24 Ultra really worth it? Let's talk about it. So if you haven't already watched the Samsung Unpack January 17th, don't bother unless you really want to bore yourself. But there's a lot of videos out there that detail exactly what they talk about. The main thing is the AI is what they mostly talked about. As far as the phones, they're pretty much the same as last year. The Ultra didn't change that much from last year other than the cameras. On the camera, they went from a 10 by zoom down to a 5 by zoom. Now, the 10 by zoom was a 10 megapixel camera, which now it's a 50 megapixel camera at five times. So they're using the AI and the extra megapixels to make up the difference to get you that longer range. And it looks like it's gonna accomplish that. So is it the same? Pretty much. So why would you upgrade your Ultra if you have one? Now, as far as should you upgrade to an Ultra if you have an, a regular S series phone? Well, when you look at the specs or if you watch the video, you find that the S24 and the S24 Plus have all the same AI features that are coming out in the Ultra. So the only real reason that I could see to buy an Ultra is if you are one that has to use the pen. If you're really hooked on that pen and you like that silo inside the phone to keep it, well, that's a reason to do it, but you're paying a premium for that. So the other thing is going from aluminum to titanium, get yourself one or two grams of weight. I don't see how you could really feel the difference between one hand and another. It's pretty much the same weight. Now, the other thing is, if you are really hooked on the flat screen, you don't like the curve that's on the 23 Ultra, then yes, the 24 Ultra might be more of your phone because it is a flat screen. But the big question is, if you've never had an Ultra before, why would you go to an Ultra when you have the S24 Plus? Because all the specs are pretty much the same. They even upgraded the screen to match the resolution on the Ultra, on the S24 Plus, you have the, the same AI features and you have that same digital zoom that you're pretty much getting on the Ultra if you go beyond the three times optical. Because when you look at it, and I'll show you an example here, when you go from say five to 10 with that 50 megapixel camera and the larger sensor, you do get a nice clear 10 by zoom. So there's no real reason to have a dedicated 10 by zoom. So that's why they went ahead and reduced it. But I wanna challenge you with this question. When was the last time, if you have a five time or something that will zoom that much, when was the last time you really 10 times zoomed on your camera? Most of our camera phones, we're doing things up close. We're doing portrait shots. We're doing wide landscape shots. We're rarely actually positioning ourselves to zoom in. There might that be that rare occasion when you wanna zoom in on something, if you're at a show or whatever, and you need to zoom in to catch that photo. But a lot of times you're using the standard or the ultra wide. Now, if you want to go with the zoom and it's digital today and it gets enhanced by AI, it's nearly just as good as having that dedicated lens. So with that in mind today, it's really hard to justify upgrading to that ultra. Look at this premium price you're paying and an additional $300 to get that extra five times zoom camera when I'm betting that when you compare it to the S24 zoom and using the digital and using the AI assistant, you're not gonna have a whole lot of difference, especially with the few occasions when you want to get the zoom. Now I am speaking as one that likes to use my DSLR. It's got the good zoom camera on it. So if I'm in a situation where I'm going out to where I wanna zoom, I'm gonna make sure I have the right camera. But as far as the phones do, they do really well at the range that they've been built for. Now, if there is a little bit of a pro hidden in you, well, guess what? The S24 and the S24 Plus have the pro features. So we're on some of the other phones where the pro features are dedicated to the higher end camera, such as the Pixel 8 Pro. It has the pro features and the Pixel 8 doesn't. So you're really not losing anything in features. You're just saving an awful lot of money. I think your money could be better spent on accessories. So something just to think about. If you've ordered any of these phones, let me know down in the comments. Tell me what you're excited for or tell me what other phone that you'd prefer over the S series. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Please do me a favor, smash that like button down below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the full review on the S24. As soon as that phone comes in hand, we're gonna be reviewing everything about it. So don't miss those videos. 
Have a wonderful rest of your day and God bless.